FC Dallas has been perfect on their home ground so far this season, and they'll have another shot tonight against a surprisingly good road club in the Portland Timbers. Fans eagerly anticipating tonight's midweek matchup here at FC Dallas Stadium. The Dr. Pepper starting 11. London Woodbury in for George John. Javon Watson in for Andrew Jacobson. Those two players are out injured. This is a team that can replace players who have been injured, especially in the middle. John Baptiste, we're going to keep an eye on him. He has to replace Sebastian. He's had a wonderful career abroad, but tore his ACL. Jack Jewsbury, the former captain. Will Johnson now the captain for Portland. Jewsbury had a goal last year against FC Dallas in a 1-1 draw between these two clubs. August 5th at Jill Field in Portland. And a takeaway here by FC Dallas. Castillo is in. Castillo! That was a great opportunity. And Fabian Castillo has buried opportunities like this in the past coming down the left, Steve, but not here. Well, there's times when you shouldn't get too tricky and when you're inside the box it's all about putting the ball in the frame and unfortunately for Castillo it does look like it bounces up a little bit on him when he's trying to hit that bar post a striker now tonight a midfielder who can score a lot of goals Corey Rockwell the assistant referee the linesman with the offside call Piquillon Piquillon bringing it in good defensive work now to the back post and Fernandez out the save Big save by Raul Fernandez, his first real test of the match, and he responds. They're trying to get to the byline, diagonal ball played back, and that was held in play. It's obscene sometimes how much pace that young man has. Stays like this, seeing him run. I'm glad I'm not a defender anymore. Here's pace, Chara through to Piquillon, who's onside. Piquillon, saved by Fernandez, then off the post. Fernandez parried, and the woodwork saved him. Wow! A wonderful counterattack there by Portland. Piquillon wide open, but it must be mentioned, and you can probably hear it here, but it is Raul Fernandez again with the save. Just a little bit of a nip to make sure it goes off his friendly post. But what a wonderful save again by Fernandez. So this is a team that's getting forward, getting a lot of opportunities, FC Dow. For the first three months of 2013, but a win at Queens Park Rangers, played well at Sunderland. And they appear to be safe. Ferreira playing through. Ferreira on the ball. Ferreira taken down. Ferreira taken down by Diego Chara. Nothing will be given here by the referee Juan Guzman. Very good taco inside the box. And I think what is frustrating, Shellis Hyman, right now, and we can see here in the replay. Oh, an incredible tackle by Chara. I think what was frustrating, Shellis Hyman on the sideline was here. Gets a shot off Michelle, and it's off Chara's hand. That uh, led to the free kick, but FC Dallas can't do anything with it. Jewsbury gives the ball away. Castillo. Here's Castillo. Another chance. Castillo bringing it in. Shooting and saved by Ricketts. Oh, Castillo with a blast. It will be a corner for FC Dallas. Well, we've mentioned time and time again just how effective Castillo has been tonight. Earlier in the game, we had Raul Fernandez who stepped up when called upon. And here you can see just how big how much quality Donovan Ricketts he covers his near post exactly what you want a goalkeeper to do play in the return to Vancouver for Hosley last week 61 minutes still warming up we'll follow the situation Castillo and FC Dallas trying to get forward and Castillo the Blas Perez with a shot that saved by Ricketts Ricketts went down couldn't control Finally now controlled by Portland's Diego Chara. Switch that up tonight. It looks like Castillo is the man with all the confidence tonight. A wonderful ball to Blas Perez. Doesn't get much behind it. You can see here, kind of hits it down a little bit. But he does test it again. They did need some late winners. Here's Castillo again. Castillo bringing it in. A nice cut left. Still possession for Fabian Castillo. Back to Michel. Michel floats one in. And another hit is off the post. Oh, Blas Perez had Ricketts beat. But the same post that Piquillon hit for Portland in the first half is the one that Perez hits here in the second half. Portland's in the 70th minute. Time Warner Cable, Sports Network, Texas. Larry to Rodney Wallace. Wallace against Javon Watson. Wallace sends it back in. And it's a shot and a score for Nagby. A goal for Portland. Darlington Nagby. Wallace, the substitute, makes it happen. 
Wallace, the substitute, makes it happen indeed. Caleb Porter should get quite a bit of credit for putting in Wallace. Comes in, floats the ball to the back post. Defensively, looked like FC Dallas was a little disorganized. And it's Nagby who allows FC, I mean, Portland to go up 1-0. But what a good float. And it's Jair Benitez kind of missed his mark there and forgot about Nagby on the back post. And Watson coming in. And Watson was beat there by Watney Wallace on the left side of the box. Two starts, five as a substitute. Zemanski is on tonight. Another Akron guy, by the way, from Caleb Porter's time there. Javon Watson. Watson plays it right. Kenny Cooper chips the ball in. The substitute Zemanski is on and didn't play it well. And as a matter of fact, we're going to have a yellow card shown here. Yeah, it did look, look like John Bob Baptiste. The glass for red off the ball. Going to be a spot kick as well. Here, yeah. Hard in the box. Number 35, John. You can see him holding on. Yes, he was holding on. And uh, left side of the screen here on the replay. Kenny Cooper trying to put the ball in the, inside the mixer. But yeah, John Bob Baptiste Young. Against his old club, Kenny Cooper. Against Donovan Ricketts. The penalty taken and scored. It was officially in the 77th minute, an equalizer. Kenny Cooper goes to celebrate with a beer guard, might have slipped on some beer over there. But a big moment for FC Dallas. They had gone 34 matches without converting a penalty. Four straight misses, three last year, Cooper's earlier this season, but now Kenny Cooper's second goal has equalized for FC Dallas. Yeah, and he steps up, Kenny Cooper, with all the confidence in the world, knowing exactly where he wants to hit it, and it didn't matter to Donovan Ricketts' guest, because that was, well, that was a perfect PK, Mark. That was, was just very well scored, no doubt, man. Coach Shellis Hyman, frustrated by the April performance to Toronto and also Vancouver. Kenny Cooper again, another chance for Cooper! Oh, and a big save! Ricketts with a little touch on it. Kenny Cooper getting a lot of confidence now. Donovan Ricketts pushing it over the crossbar, but what a service here. And that's Blas Perez with a wonderful layoff and oh. Donovan Ricketts using all of his size to get, but he needs to get on the end of this no matter what. It's your last opportunity. Benitez, the last kick of the game, perhaps. Hoping to be reminiscent of the Himalu last year in early May against New England. When a Himalu free kick, or when a Loy free kick was headed home by a Himalu for a winner on the last kick, but it won't happen. That was not written in the stars tonight.